hi so we are gonna read a book today and this book is called bunny business by Lori richmond i guess the title might have also been mama's day at work but it looks like they crossed it out i'm wondering why that title was crossed out mama's day at work hmm maybe we'll find out after we read this book bunny business It's Monday morning when Mama finds out the bunny sitter is sick. Get it? Not a babysitter, but a bunny sitter. Papa just left. School is closed and the neighbors are in Bun Betos. I can't leave you alone while I'm at work, said Mama. What am I going to do? I'll go with you, said Bunny. Man, take your bunny to work day, I guess. Hop along, said Mama, or we'll be late. And they zoom off to the big city. I wonder if um, Bunny has been to her mom's job before, if this is her first time. If it's her first time, I bet she's really excited something new let's go look at the art said bunny not now said mama i think mama just wants to get to work <laughs> bunny is getting very distracted on her way there <laughs> i'm hungry said bunny i'm late for a meeting said mama we'll get a snack when i'm done but i'm hungry now said bunny When I'm hungry, I get a little angry, and so I call it hangry. I cannot be hangry. Miss Tabas Cam, hangry is not good. I need to make sure I have food and snacks with me. Stay here in my office and draw, said Mama. I'll be close by where I can keep an ear on you. So this is what Mama does at work all day? Oh my gosh, look at Bunny with all these post-its all over herself. Or this one, she made like a fort out of all the folders. Or down here, using all the um, paper clips. I made it into a chain. Looks like Bunny is going through all of Mama's stuff at work. I don't know if Mama will be happy about that though. After a while, Mama still hasn't come back. Bunny waits and waits. My tummy is so rumbly and waits. She's been gone forever. I'll go look for mama. Instead, Bunny finds. I think Bunny might've been feeling a little impatient because mama was taking so long. <gasps> she finds snacks. Oh man. Lots of snacks. But how can I reach the buttons, thought Bunny. Oh my gosh. Look at this, she tried using a rope, sliding into the little slot. Oh my gosh, so silly. A trampoline, using a rocket ship, stilts to get to the buttons, or a paper plane, a bow and arrow. Oh my gosh. Then Bunny has a better idea. I think all those ideas she thought of probably weren't going to work. But I don't have any money. Now I'll never get a snack. Look at her idea. It actually did work, right? A chair and a ruler. She's able to touch the buttons, but now what doesn't she have? Yep, she doesn't have any money. Then Bunny has an even better idea and is back in business. I'm a little confused though. Why is Bunny doing art when I thought her goal was to get money so she can get snacks? I'm wondering what she's going to do with those, the art that she makes. How will that help her? Hmm. 
Bunny's art sale. All art, one dollar. What do you think she's doing? What does that mean, Bunny's art sale? Snacks for everyone, said Bunny. What did she do? It looks like she sold her art to get some money and therefore she's able to get some snacks. And not just snacks for her, but snacks for everyone. Bunny is pretty generous. It's pretty awesome. The end. <laughs> awesome. So I chose this book, one, because it's one of our, the free books that we got actually from our book orders and we hadn't uh, read this book yet. But also I liked this book because Bunny was super creative and imaginative. She thought of how she could make money and one of those ways was by creating art and then selling it. And I know when, I'm, when I've been at home these past couple weeks, uh, there are times where I got really bored and I had to be creative and think of uh, different things for me to do uh, to keep um, to keep busy. And so one of those things I actually learned was I learned how to sew. So my mom sewed clothes when she was uh, little and then sewed clothes when I was a kid for me. So we were able to find her sewing machine and we dusted it off. It had been in the garage for 20 years and it still works. So she taught me how to sew. So I have been sewing face masks. And I'm sure you've seen people with those um, masks out when they walk outside. So I've been sewing a lot of them and sending them to families. So that's something I've been doing to be creative and to keep me busy. So I want to know what you have been doing. What have you been doing? I have a friend who has a daughter and they made like an obstacle course at their house. Um, they've done like really funny videos, home videos. So please let me know, send me a message, take a photo, send a video of the ways that you are being creative and spending your time at home, okay? Again, be kind and be safe. Bye!